Well, we've got a peanut stew today, and uh, despite what you guys think, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. We've got this beautiful stew. It's uh, of African origin. It's vegetarian. It's vegan. It's ticking all those boxes, and we've got a beautiful selection of winter greens here. So we've got silver beet, kale, and spinach as well, and of course these beautiful um, kumaras in there. It's going to be great. Back to you guys. We are in the Beko kitchen and Mark, every time you've said you're making a peanut stew, everyone chuckles. <laughs> I'm a little intrigued. Including you. Well, no, but it's looking pretty hardy as I look at it now, but now we're going to cook it up. So what are we going to be doing, making? Right, so we've got peanut stew. So yeah. it's uh, it's from Africa, so it's something completely different. Mm -hmm. uh, vegetarian, vegan, so, you know, that's great. Okay. You know, and something different, you know? Nice. We've got to Sweet. try different things. Okay, cool. Well, our pot, is, our pot is warming up, so we're ready yeah, to so cook. Our, so our pot's pretty hot, so we'll just we'll pull it off and let it cool down okay. a little bit. Nice. Right, and then also I've got some onions, so we'll start this stew. I'm just going to slice some onions, and then we'll just start cooking those down. And I've got a little bit of ginger as well, so that's okay. going to flavour our uh, stew. Nice, so, so we'll we just chop some those. onions. So we, have you, you, you obviously made this before? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> tell a lie, I've we, not made this before. Have you? No, but it sounded, it sounded great. Right, and how did you come across the recipe? Oh, I was just, just having a look at um, vegan recipes. Okay, and, nice. And this popped up. Oh, well, everyone's gone vegan nowadays. I they? know, well, so my household's <laughs> vegan. We just eat here. It's a, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> right, bit of, uh, bit of oil in there, and yep. then we'll start sweating our uh, onions down. Okay. So, sweat them down sweat so they get nice down. and soft. We can get a little bit of colour in there, you know, so we're looking for flavour now. Right. So a little bit of colour, that'll help with the flavour, give us a different um, uh, depth to the stew. Just got some ginger, just going to slice that as well, that goes in. Bring out the flavours. Yep. Right. So, I mean, look at that. I mean, that's great. This time that's of year, we've got some really good uh, greens yeah. there, so I've got a nice selection of greens. That looks great. <clears throat> and could you use whatever greens you've got, you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, if you've, you've got anything in the garden, you can use those okay. greens or, um, uh, yeah, or whatever's in the supermarket, you know? Okay, great. You buy whatever's uh, available and whatever's uh, cheap in the supermarket. We like that. Exactly. Right, kuma. So this is going to bulk it out, give some body to the stew. So I'm using the uh, orange kuma there. So I'm just going to dice it. Right. And then, you know, once we've got our... Uh, Onions cooking down. I'm going to pop the kuma in. So we're going to treat the kuma like a, almost like a, a you know, piece of meat. Okay. So we'll just pretend it's chicken for now. Or chuck steak. Or chuck steak. Or yeah. Chuck steak. So you want to. So yeah. we want to start cooking that and start browning it. Okay. Good. And as with a, you know, as with a piece of meat, you know, you're going to, you're going to wait until it goes brown and then you go into the next stage. We're actually going to wait until the kuma sort of turns uh, a little bit sort of darker. You know. Okay. Gets a bit of heat and it will go a little bit darker and then we're ready to go into our next stage. Oh, it's smelling so good. Right, I've got some, uh, got some pepper flakes there that goes in, so a nice little bit of heat coming through. Woo! And I've also got a little bit of chilli sauce as well, which we're going to put in the stew as well. So, okay, nice. so, you know, it's going to give us some nice heat, some richness. Um, you know, it's full of vegetables, full of greens, really healthy for you, and a perfect winter dish. Isn't it? Yeah. No, no, great. And I love peanuts, so a peanut stew sounds quite appealing to me. By the way, if you need any of the ingredients, if you want the recipe, you just go to thecafe.co.nz. You can see the address on screen now. Always handy to go back and have a look at everything else Mark makes. Right, sweating. Yeah, so you can see it's starting to sort of change what was colour. That? A little bit of tomato paste. Ah, okay. Right. <laughs> Just that like goes in. Unusual we... colour. <laughs> <laughs> and then we want to, so we want to fry that a bit. So, okay. you know, so this stage now, <laughs> keep it in the pot. So this stage now, we want to sort of, you know, spend a good sort of five, six, seven minutes on there. Have that nice medium heat, roast that tomato paste. That's okay. going to give us some really good flavour and uh, and really start getting that kuma a little bit sort of darker in colour. And then we'll come back and we'll add the rest of our flavours. Nice. Okay, sweet. Nice. But it's, yeah, it's really easy, really nice simple. Nice work. Okay, Mark, thank you very much for this. Nothing quite like a hearty stew. And this is a peanut stew. If you want to see the next step, stick around. Here in the Beko kitchen we are right now, though, making peanut stew. This is smelling really good. Right, so it's going to smell, it's going to really smell now. So we've got some ground cumin mm -hmm. so that goes in there. So just toast that lightly. Oh yeah, that smells good. And then peanut butter. Okay, sweet. So that's, that's toasting. We're going to pop the peanut butter in now. Okay. So pop that in. So this is going to give us all the flavour in the stew. This seems really unusual. And, and just sort of toast it. I know, that's, I came across this recipe and thought, God, that sounds unusual. And I was like, I'll just make it, because everyone will love it. I hope it tastes but, better than it looks right now. No, but, it's, but you can't go wrong. It's like it's, it's it's funny because like peanut butter on toast. Oh, I, I can't eat that. But peanut butter like you know in a sauce or in cooking, it's beautiful. I okay. love it. Okay, I'll take your word there for you it. There you go. Chef. So we're just uh, you know 
doesn't look the best yet. But well, you've got to, no, you've got to keep going with it. So a little bit of chilli sauce in there to give okay. us some uh, heat. And then vegetable stock. Oh, yeah, cool. Right, and now we're going to put the vegetable stock in. So pop a little bit in first. Okay, I Give see. it a good stir, yep, that stir needs just there. to go in. And then add a little bit more. Break a little bit down. more, break it down, right. get it all in, and then you can pop the rest in. Okay, Bring it up to the boil, turn it down, Ooh. and we're going to simmer it until the kuma is um, nice and soft and all those flavours have just sort of developed. Nice work. See, look at this, looking beautiful now. Right, and now we've got all our greens. So, do you know which, which ones these are? So uh, we've got yes, it's got... kale. All right, very good. Yeah, silver beet. Very good. And the spinach. Very good. There you go. Did you look at the recipe? No, I just like my greens. <laughs> yeah. It's because I have such rubbish food most of the time. <laughs> I try and get as many greens in me as I can. No, and these are great as well. So, yeah, good time of year to buy these greens. You know, heaps of iron in there, heaps of flavour, and uh, really easy to grow as well. If you can't grow anything like in summer, you know, put some greens in and they'll, they'll you can't, you, well, they'll take I want to say you can't yeah. kill them, but you can, um, you know, you can treat them mean and they'll still come. Well, I was down at Field Days this time last week, actually, and um, after the show, went down and had a look. And it's amazing, you know, farmers as well are really concerned about where their food, you know, is coming from because they know that consumers want to know which paddock it's being grown, oh, in, so to speak. So, yeah, I mean, the story, you know, even the diners in the restaurant, you know, they want to. They, they want the story now, yep. the story of the produce. Where did it come from? How many hands has it passed through? Yeah. Oh, exactly, exactly. Right, so on these greens, so especially the kale, you know, you've got this really sort of tough stem. So I'm just going to remove that. I'm going to leave a little bit on the top part. Okay. And then just sort of roughly chop it. And we're going to pop it in there. And, we'll, and once the stew's ready and the kuma's um, nice and soft, uh, we're going to put our greens in and then just cook them. So I'll probably start with the kale. Cook that for a couple of minutes, then put the, put the silver beet in, and then another minute or so, and then last minute just before you serve, just put the spinach in because that's just going to wilt down. Okay, cool. So how long before we put the kale in? Oh, probably think? about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, and then the silver beet? Yeah, silver beet for a few minutes. Then, uh, no, kale first for a few yes, minutes. Kale. After a couple of minutes, silver beet. Another silver couple beet. of minutes, yeah. last minute, um, the uh, spinach. And okay. then we've got some chopped peanuts just to garnish it with, and then just a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Okay, nice. And uh, that's salt and, and pepper. And, yeah, and that's it. Nice. Yeah, okay. That's good. Nice and simple. Do you want to taste it? Oh, I will have a little taste. What other African dishes have you ever done? Because we should do another one. I quite like this. <laughs> What, <laughs> what else have you done? Um, <laughs> How would you define an African scrum. dish, though? Um, peanuts. <laughs> oh, that is good. Oh, yeah, that is really yeah, good. I mean, some good, you know. Yum. Some, Nice, nicer vegetables off the land, you know, some nice spice in there. Yeah. And, and yeah, just some good things. What a beautiful yeah, do that. winter dish. Yeah. Okay, nice. That sounds brilliant. Is Mel going to like it? I think Mel is going to love it. I think you're going to love it at home as well. So go on, challenge yourself. Make something a little different. Go and make a peanut stew. Or peanut stew, as we say here. Okay, well, we will have the recipe, as I said, at thecafe.co.nz. Delicately now, Mel, you can try Mark's stew. I cannot wait to try it. Try it. Go try it, try it, try it. Okay. okay. <laughs> what are you going to be doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got a, a great classic, which you're going to love, an oh. English Cornish pasta. Oh, that's good. Well, you can give it a couple of days break. It'll be Monday, actually.